Mark, your, your book is entitled the, the, the Soul Hypothesis, Investigations into the Existence of the Soul. Um, what is the soul hypothesis and uh, how might it be investigated? And in particular, uh, what does science have to do with it? Uh, people might have thought, well, given the kind of thing the soul is supposed to be, it doesn't seem like science would have much to say about it. So, so does science have something to say about it? And, and um, how should we think about these things? Well, of course, those are all great questions and complicated questions and take some um, teasing apart. Um, we picked the, the title Soul Hypothesis uh, fairly carefully. Um, we wanted to use soul hypothesis rather than soul religious belief or something like that um, because we believe that it had and should have some intersection with science. Um, on the other hand, uh, we uh, picked it uh, sole hypothesis rather than sole self-evident truth or something because we didn't know um, um, that, that that was that or what the implications of that would be. Um, but the idea of a hypothesis generally in a scientific theory is it's some serious idea that you're testing out to see how it relates to other ideas, how it works together to um, explain things that we see. And the, kind of the idea of the book is that this has been um, kind of ridiculed or downplayed in the effort to kind of secularize everything. But if we took that idea again and put it back into the equation and saw how it would relate to other ideas, maybe we could explain some things that we couldn't otherwise. And it's not like uh, cognitive science and neuroscience and so on have solved everything and there are no mysteries left, left to do. So it seems um, uh, worth a try.